Hi and welcome to my channel. One of the most uh, frequently asked questions in my channel has been uh, from my viewers um, what the scanner to choose for uh, Mercedes-Benz cars and um, I'm delighted to tell you of this uh, 2024 version of uh, launch code reader Elite 2.0 uh, Pro. It's a bi-directional OBD2 uh, scanner, uh, specifically for Mercedes-Benz, uh, made by Launch. Uh, it's a Chinese company, but I tell you, this is uh, this is a very very impressive scanner, especially for this price point uh, at one hundred eighty-five dollars or so. And uh, I'll put a link in the description if you if you get it through that link, then I think um, you'll get a thirty dollar discount, so for one hundred fifty-nine dollars. Um, I, um, I'm not going to give a full review of it because really it has so many functionalities that it would take forever, but I'll just show you briefly, uh, its capabilities and power. It's extremely powerful. Now from the get go, let me just tell you what I don't like about it. Uh, and, um, there are just only a couple of things. One is this health report. It takes about five, six minutes. Uh, now I do have the Mercedes-Benz scanner too, and of course it's bulky and you have to have a laptop with it. And uh, it's also not the fastest, but um, you know, compared to that, that that would give me the, the health check in probably a minute and a half. This one, it takes five to six minutes. So that's that would be my biggest criticism. The other is that it's cabled, so you hook it up to uh, under the dash, you know, uh, to the OBD2 port. Um, I wish it was wireless, but for this price point, probably it would it would be more expensive to make it wireless. Uh, so it's really not that's not really a big deal. Um, and it found uh, a bunch of codes uh, in my car. This is a 2000 S500, a 24 year old car uh, that drives like new. You know, I've been maintaining it very well, but. Um, uh, there are some issues with it, you know, after 24 years, uh, and I was surprised it found some codes that I didn't know about, and I need to see what what's going on with it. But anyway, so that's that was that's my uh, main criticism, uh, and it's not slow with everything. Um, this is real time. What you'll see here, uh, only the health check. Um, the touch screen is. Uh, uh, it, 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 you know, it's very portable, of course. The touch screen is uh, very responsive, extremely responsive. And, uh, and it will work for all cars from 1996 to, to now uh, with free lifetime updates. Um, and I would say that uh, if you have up to three cars, this makes perfect sense. Um, beyond three cars, then you might want to go to the next price point. Um, launch and a number of other vendors have different scanners that cover all cars, um, starting at 500, and you can go up to several thousand dollars. But um, if you have up to three cars, this is the Mercedes-Benz version, and then you can download the others for anywhere from $60 to $100. Uh, European and I'll show that uh, at some point here in this video but uh, the main menu will give you um, all the different uh, you know from uh, all the uh, 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 this this scanner basically can read all the computers it can communicate to all the computers on the Mercedes-Benz cars and um, and so uh, I'm going to start showing you, uh, starting with the engine. Um, and, um, and once you go inside in the engine control module, uh, you'll find uh, a number of uh, data pits uh, that you can, especially if you get an engine light uh, and you want to see the, uh, the values of your oxygen sensors and um, mass airflow sensor and um, uh, uh, coolant temperature and those kind of things and, and you can graph them up to you can have up to four data pits and um, where it allows you to graph them in, in one graph and you can record all of it and also um, 
uh, the little camera icon on top uh, right hand of this screen that you see every now and then right there. Uh, uh, you can also take snapshots of the screen at any time and save those to this device and then later you can um, you can um, email email those to yourself or anyone um, but uh, you can choose all these data I mean, it's incredible the amount of data that this can provide and of course right now I have the car the engine on uh, sitting in idle so you'll see zero percent uh, or the numbers not changing much for uh, some of the uh, parameters but um, and, and if you don't, it's because of that. But um, but as you can see, there are tons of data points that this can give you uh, so that you could narrow the issue down to a couple of things. And, uh, and uh, this by itself, nowadays mechanics, you know, if you go to any mechanic shop, uh, minimum $100 just to do a diagnosis. So uh, this will pay for itself and, and just um, with, with one issue. Uh, I, I, I really could not um, say enough about this little scanner. I'm impressed the more, um, the more I use it, the more I'm impressed because uh, uh, now I have used the uh, iCarsoft, uh, Mercedes-Benz iCarsoft one. Uh, uh, this is so much better than that, the scanner, if you have ever used that before. Uh, or you can, you, can, um, you can go look it up in, uh, in Amazon and other places. This by far has a lot more functionality. And this is one of the graphs where I'm um, uh, getting four different things or three different things in one, one graphic. Uh, so um, it's, it's really very useful. Um, and this is, this is just the engine module. Um, so and, and it also has a special functions and it has uh, uh, adaptations uh, it um, uh, a lot of bi-directional features so you could send signals to all the different sensors and computers and get responses back for example uh, you know let's say your uh, your uh, uh, blower motor doesn't work uh, for your air conditioning right you can uh, you can send signals to turn it on, turn it off, uh, basically narrow down where the problem is. Um, your lights, your um, door modules, windows, uh, you name it. I mean, you can, you can uh, bi-directionally talk to all these different computers uh, in a Mercedes-Benz or any other car if you purchase the other modules. Um, here you can see the O2 sensor, you know, going up and down between zero and one and the temperature of the coolant. So, um, and you can do some, uh, even some programming. Uh, so, uh, uh, like I said, uh, it's got too many features to show all of them in a short video, and I'm going to try to keep this video under 30 minutes, but despite that, um, I'm just uh, scratching the surface. And uh, of course, I'm not saying it's the same as a, a Mercedes-Benz scanner, but it, you know, for for its size and for its price point, I mean, uh, it comes very close. Uh, you can do so much with it. Um, I'm still inside the engine uh, control module, and um, let me um, get out of this and go to. And uh, uh, the this is the electronic selector module. Uh, 
uh, here drive authorization your car doesn't start right you want to see um, what are all the signals that the computers see and send to each other and uh, and again to narrow down a problem and look at all these different data points And as you can see, it's not it's not really slow. I mean, um, relative to other scanners I've used, uh, it's it's uh, it compares very favorably. In some instances, it's even faster, and the screen is very responsive. And all of this in a very small uh, package, um, very uh, portable, so you can uh, you can pretty much um, have one of these in uh, each of your cars, even. Uh, uh, if budget was not an issue, that's what I would do uh, for myself. Um, but um, but you could even, um, you know, depending on what you're driving, you could just take it with you to any car you go with. If especially if you have older cars or cars that <laughs> are not very reliable, and you don't know where uh, it might fail, a car may fail in you. Then uh, it would be best to have a scanner ready. To see exactly what the problem is. Uh, so here I'm now in the chassis uh, part of the scanner, and with all of these you can uh, you can uh, read data streams, and then you can use special functions, and then you can do actuation tests. So this is a data stream, and by the way, that faint yellow row that you see on top right before the menu that kind of tells you where you are at any given time in case you get lost uh, inside all of these menus and so this is um, the suspension the aromatic system on the mercedes-benz systems uh, 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 go bad uh, especially in, in my car after 24 years so uh, this is just uh, gives you pretty much every value that you need in order to figure out what's going on with the suspension system. And you can also calibrate different um, sensors, the levels, um, even the central uh, reservoir. Um, if you have any issues, you can fill it, you can empty it to see if that works or not. Um, look at all the different um, things you can do with it. Uh, another area, uh, the RPM sensors um, in the electronic uh, stability module. Um, you can read all four values. Uh, you can graph them. Um, and of course I'm um, I'm in a parking lot right now, so uh, you don't see the values change, but you can see all four of them at the same time as you drive and immediately determine if one of your RPM sensors are bad, uh, especially if you get all those uh, different lights on the dash, uh, ABS, uh, ESP, whatever. Uh, one of the culprits usually uh, could be uh, an RPM sensor or any of these other sensors, um, you can quickly figure out what's going on. The stop lamp switch. And um, the <clears throat> pneumatic system of course uh, uh, which is another area in Mercedes-Benz cars uh, that could give you problems and you can do uh, all kinds of tests uh, let me try to open uh, open the locks and close the locks from the computer 
and it's open right now the door locks and uh, and I can now uh, lock them so um, and you can do that with uh, pretty much all the different modules from uh, turn signals to lamps to bulbs to <laughs> you name it You can easily get lost inside all of these menus and you'd need days to play with these. As you can see, I'm, I'm not exaggerating. Uh, I, mean, I may sound like uh, I'm uh, uh, overly praising uh, uh, the scanner, but uh, believe me, once once you play with it for a while, as I have, you'll be extremely impressed. Uh, they should they should hire me as their spokesperson. <laughs> uh, really, it's very impressive. Um, so um, the the door control modules. I mean. Uh, uh, all kinds of things could happen with those. Uh, if you own Mercedes-Benz cars, as long as I have, um, a lot of things could go wrong with these, um, with all the different computers and sensors. Um, you really need a scanner, especially nowadays where it's getting um, so expensive. So, I mean, my, my viewers have been asking me, um, and I think I can confidently recommend this one uh, for sure. And uh, if it doesn't meet your expectations uh, fully, then you haven't spent too much money on it. Uh, that's that's where I would leave it. Um, but uh, it's all up to you. This is just my recommendation. There are so many sensors, especially with the climate control system. On these cars, and, and this is a, a <laughs> incidentally, this is a 2,000 year old. Uh, I mean, a 2,000 year model, 24 year old car. Imagine um, the new Mercedes Benzes. Uh, I mean, some of them have uh, an axis of um, 70, 80 computers inside, or even a hundred, um, with uh, thousands of data pits, and uh, so. And I think, uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not, uh, you'll get a free lifetime update. So as the years go by and new cars come to the market, um, then uh, you can get free updates for your scanner. If uh, there is interest, I could, uh, if anyone is interested to see something specific that wouldn't take too much of my time, uh, I could make a video. Uh, I might do this on a W210 uh, E320. Uh, so um, in the settings, you can, uh, you know, you can uh, connect it to your Wi-Fi system and, um, you know, change uh, different things here. Uh, there is a mall option, shopping mall. So this is where you go to download. Um, the programs for other cars and um, so tab the tabs on top you can select all or go to for example here European so from Aston Martin to Peugeot and Volvo BMW all of them are covered um, American cars Chrysler Ford GM Uh, so, I hope you find this review of use, and um, I will um, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.